What's up friends, today I wanted to talk to you about a question I've been getting over the past couple of weeks, which is, should I join an armor milsim group? What do I need to do? And how do I join? So, I thought it would be a good idea if I did a video explaining the pros and the cons before making such a commitment, just to give you an idea if it's really for you. But, before we get started, please remember to hit that subscribe button and show your support it takes less than two seconds and it really helps the channel grow and ensures I can continue to keep making videos. Alright, as some of you may know, I've always been a big fan of Karma Cut and Operator Drewski. I always watch their large scale operations they take part in and I always thought to myself I'd love to do that. But I just didn't know where to start or whether I'd have the time or quite frankly be good enough. When I was fortunate enough to find myself into a Milsim group, I can honestly say it has reignited a passion for gaming with me, something that was slowly dying. However, I'm conscious that it's not for everybody, so hopefully this video gives you a good idea before you make that commitment. Also, just remember that I am only a part of Armour Reforger Milsim. I know that there's lots of other groups out there for other games, so I'm only referring to my own personal experiences within Armour Reforger. Let's go boys, let's go. So let's start with the positives. For me, one of the biggest things I have found so far about being a part of a Milsim group is that it adds a whole new layer of immersion to the game. Having dedicated chains of command, using proper communications, players that specialize in specific roles, and immersion is a huge reason why I game, and I'm sure it is for others too. I really enjoy that feeling of almost being there, and Milsim will definitely feel that desire. Another pro that I found is the ability to learn new skills that are not only transferable to other games but also in real life as well. This includes radio communication, map reading and navigation. I've personally found that within the small time I've been learning these skills, I've been able to apply them in other games making it a far more enjoyable experience. On top of this, no operation or scenario is ever the same. You never know what to expect. And this is because there are real people, some with real life first hand experience, creating custom missions and operations. For me, this is a huge breath of fresh air. Quite often or not, I have found myself in other games where the same map, objective and game mode come up time and time again, making for a boring, predictable, rinse and repeat scenario. Even armor can be guilty of this, particularly on the conflict game mode. It's very much a capture, defend, capture, defend scenario, which over time can become extremely tedious. And finally, the biggest pro I'll leave you with is that so far it has been so much fun. I have found that particularly for armor, I feel that this is how the game should be played. It's a huge military sandbox with so much customization in terms of weaponry, maps, equipment, and missions. Don't get me wrong, I think you can still have plenty of fun by playing publicly or solo, but I truly believe that diving into a Milsim group will give you the ultimate experience when it comes to armor. So far, I have learned so much more about the game itself, as well as making many new like-minded friends along the way. I need a hit count, I need a hit count. Is this all that's alive from that? Let's move on to some of the cons or drawbacks you might find if you do decide to join a Milsim group. First things first, Milsim is a commitment. I like to describe it just like a sport or a hobby for that matter. In order to get the rewards from it, you need to be committed. Like I previously advised, there are real people who spend hours creating missions, operations and scenarios for all to enjoy. But none of that is possible if people don't show up. So my first con is that you need to have the time. Particularly for the Milsim group that I'm a part of, you are required to train a minimum of twice a week and be available for one operation a week. For me personally, this is not a huge ask and I'm often available to do more. If however you do have a busy schedule and you don't think you'd be able to reach that minimum requirement, then it may be too much of a commitment for you to adhere to. Open fire, open fire, open fire. You might also find that there's a lot of standing and waiting around. For me, this adds to the realism, but I can understand how this may turn some players away. As I have previously alluded to, there are many working parts when it comes to Milsim particularly with the group that I'm involved in, which has over 2,000 members and is one of, if not the biggest Milsim group around. 
With that said, you will find yourself waiting for other units to yeah. complete their tasks well, thing, sorry, before you can do uh, yours. Do Therefore, if you are more of a casual gamer and running and gunning is more your style, you may not enjoy this aspect. I will say, however, the moments when you find yourself waiting around doing nothing and awaiting orders are where some of the funniest in-game experiences are had and where you can really build a bond with some of your teammates. The last drawback is that it can be a really steep learning curve, particularly if you don't have formal military training. In order to progress and acquire certain roles, you need to show you understand what's required. This could be learning things such as acronyms and military terms, radio etiquette, formations, specifics about a role, tactics, and general military procedures. If you're someone that may not want to learn, then you might find that you're limited into the roles that you can reach and it might negatively impact your overall experience. On the flip side to that, if you're the opposite and you find that you're more open to learning, then the more opportunities you will be presented with. So in summary, I hope that's given you a bit more of an understanding as to what to expect from a Milsim group, particularly with Armour Reforger. If you would like to join and be a part of a group, then please feel free to join the 75th Ranger Regiment Discord below in my description and submit a ticket. From there, you'll be directed to an appropriate time zoned group in which you can begin your Milsim journey. If you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll do my very best to help. Thank you all once again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers. Don't okay, stop, no. stay seated. Fucking hell, punch through, boys, punch through.